we have A, which is down here, and it's 5, and B is 12, and we are trying to find C. So C is our unknown. So this is a forward Pythagorean theorem problem. So we're going to take A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and we're going to plug in 5, and we're going to plug in 12 and solve for C. So you get 25 plus 144 equals C squared. Well, these add together to 169 equals C squared, so we're going to take the square root of both sides. And remember, when you take the square root, you actually get two answers, a positive and a negative. But we know that a length can't be negative, so we're only going to look at the positive today. So C is 13, so that means this hypotenuse is 13. So that's actually a common triple, a 5, 12, 13. So you need to put that in your memory. Now, we also need to find the area of that triangle. Well, the area formula, remember, is 1 half the base times the height. Well, the nice thing about a right triangle, the base and the height are the legs. So in this case, our base is 5 and our height is 12. So 1 half of 5 times 12. Well, 5 times 12 is 60, and half of 60 is 30. So this would be 30 square units, and that would be the answer for the area. Okay, so that one's fairly easy. It's a forward problem. We're just solving for C, and we're finding the area of the triangle. Now let's try one when we're, where we're given um, B and C, and we don't have A. So this time, we don't know A, so we're going to leave that a variable. B is 4 and C is 10. Okay, now this one's not a common triple, so it's not going to be quite as nice. So let's write our formula down. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, A we don't know, so we're going to leave an A squared in there. B is one of the legs, so it's 4 squared, and C is the hypotenuse. So a squared plus 4 squared is 16 is equal to 100. So a squared equals 84. Okay, now we're going to take the square root of both sides. So we have a is equal to the square root of 84. Now at the end of this unit, we're going to work on simplifying radicals, but let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, this one is 4 times 21. Hmm. Well, 4 is a perfect square, so the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going to pull that outside of the radical, and that's 2 root 21. So there's your answer in radical form. You can also grab your calculator, and you can take the square root, which is second function and the x squared button, um, I'm sorry, square root of 84, and the decimal answer is... 9.17 okay but so you need to be comfortable with both simplifying as a radical 